Now from one state tournament to a tournament that'll punch tickets to state, the WDA Boys Hockey Tournament has arrived in Minot. Double elimination and two wins on the weekend sends you to Grand Forks. We start with the three versus six matchup, Century and Dickinson. Picking it up in the second period, Patriots already up 2-0, looking to add more. Hayden Ritter with the puck, but Bryce Cattermas with the save. Century tries for the rebound, but Cattermas again on the follow-up. Patriots now pushing up the ice. Andrew Brubakken with a breakaway, but upper corner look. Cattermas with the shoulder save, keeping it 2 0. They're just looking to cut into the lead in the half. Caden Krieg with the spin move, but look at Hoyt Ubel covering it up there. Patriots advance to the semis, a 4 0 shutout. Rivalry in the uh, quarterfinals. Bismarck and Legacy Sabres winning the regular season matchup. First period on the faceoff. Gage Martell from the blue line gets it past the goalie for the first score of the game for Legacy. Two minutes later, Sabres pushing up the ice again. It's Martell in front, and he gets his second of the night. Legacy up 2 0 early. Bismarck looking for their own goal. Carson Sebastian with the side shot finds the back of the net. Demons down 2 to 1, but that's as close as they get. Legacy moves on 4 to 1. On the other side of the brackets, Mandan and Jamestown. No score until the third period where Carter Killen scores the redirect and it's a successful power play for the Braves. A few minutes later, here come the Blue Jays. First, it's Nathaniel Walls putting one in and a simple backhand for the equalizer, but Jamestown is not done. Less than a minute later in the attack again, centering pass finds Max Mayhus up front. And just like that, the four seed takes the lead back. The Blue Jays pull away, winning 6-2. They'll face Minot, who also won 6-2 over Botno Rugby.